welcome to this edition of HTV News Source. I'm your host, Mariana Villanguren. Mayor Sylvester Turner is looking for more companies to join the Higher Houston Youth Summer Program. The program empowers applicants between the ages of 16 to 24 to get jobs. The mayor's goal is to reach 10,000 jobs this year. Open enrollment started this month. Corporations such as McDonald's are involved. In other news, Chief of Police Ora Acevedo and officers sent a friendly reminder to people to be safe when they ride their bikes on the streets of Houston. Hi, this is Houston Police Chief Ora Acevedo. We're here to remind you about the rules of the roads and Houston Safe Passing Ordinance, an ordinance that's designed to keep cyclists, pedestrians, and many other vulnerable roadway users safe. Please be safe out there and pay attention to the road. In Houston, the Safe Passing Ordinance requires you to give three feet of separation when passing a cyclist, pedestrian, or any other vulnerable roadway user with your vehicle, and six feet if you're driving a commercial vehicle. My job is not only to educate the public, but also enforce the law. And Houston police officers throughout the city will continue to ensure that the Safe Passing Ordinance is being followed accordingly through education and enforcement. We also urge cyclists to practice safe cycling and obey all traffic laws on our city streets. Not only will it help keep you safe, it also the law. Remember, share the road and please give space. We all deserve the right to make it home safely. Give three feet or six feet if you're driving a commercial vehicle. It's the law. For more information, visit www.houstontx.gov. The Houston Health Department wants everyone to use condoms to protect themselves from catching the HIV virus. In this case, prevention comes from knowledge and education. February 7th is National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day. This particular day was uh, started um, probably about 20 years ago in response to the HIV epidemic and the impact it was having on the African American community around the nation. So it is celebrated annually and the big push is to make individuals aware of HIV, make them aware of testing and prevention methods. One of the significant things that we have to have a conversation about and we continue to around African Americans and HIV is that African Americans are the most impacted uh, communities with new HIV diagnosis here in the United States and of course here in Houston. The key that we're looking at now is this thing called biomedical uh, prevention. The main thing that we're talking about now is this, uh, it's a medication, Travada that we call PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. We talk about it now because when someone is on PrEP, they are over 92% less likely for HIV to be transmitted to them as an HIV negative person. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to HD News Source. Councilmember Brenda Stardick invited members of her community in District A to participate in conversations over coffee and snacks. Residents from Spring Branch gathered at the Ring Library to have coffee with Councilmember Brenda Stardick from District A. Many residents signed up to have coffee and breakfast treats with Councilmember Brenda Stardick. Dozens of Houstonians also came to meet the Councilmember to express concerns and some of the great things Stardick is doing in her community. We're here with the Coffee Council member and I'm, ex I'm just so thrilled that we have a great turnout and I'm looking forward to hearing what the concerns and questions are that our good neighbors in the community that care enough to be here this morning have for us. So once again, thank you all. Rem remember, these are your tax dollars. Mayor Sylvester Turner appointed a director of education for the first time in the history of city council. Juliette Stepech spoke with us on what her goals and plans are for the future. Meeting the strong, well-educated Houston of tomorrow will require everyone working together, and Juliet is the perfect choice, in my estimation, for ensuring my vision gets implemented. For the first time in the history of our city, the mayor has appointed a director of education. That's right. Mayor Sylvester Turner had the opportunity to appoint Juliet Stepech to assist him in coordinating, collaborating and communicating with the different educational institutions in the city of Houston. Wow, awesome job. According to Stepech, one important focus should be on early childhood education. Those first formative years are a critical learning period for children. Pre-K is of critical importance in the city of Houston because 
you know, children and babies, their brains are developing the most uh, neurons and synapses and connections that set the stage for the rest of their life in the critical years from zero to three. And so we know how important it is for young people to start having that opportunity to develop the essential um, supports, the social learning, the emotional learning, the networks and the connections, so that way when they start kindergarten, and elementary school, they will be on a level playing field. What's going on, man? How you doing? Doing fine. Another important step taken by our mayor was to start the Higher Houston Youth Initiative, which last year offered just 450 jobs. This year, that number has increased tremendously. The Office of Education has had a unique opportunity to work with the National League of Cities on two programs that have received national attention and recognition. First, the Mayor's Higher Houston Youth Program, uh, which has expanded the opportunity for young people to have jobs in the city. We grew from 450 jobs at the city last year to now offering 5,000 job opportunities this summer. Houston must have thriving neighborhoods citywide uh, for us to reach our full potential. Another program the mayor launched is a Complete Communities Initiative, which has been nationally recognized. Uh, the National League of Cities has looked at this program and said that it is one uh, as an example for post-secondary readiness. Higher Houston Youth also received a White House designation as a summer opportunity hub uh, by President Barack Obama in 2016 as well. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back to HTV News Source. Two very impressive women received a proclamation from Mayor Sylvester Turner for their bravery in participating in one of the most grueling events, better known as the Mongol Derby, a race on horseback which takes you through China and other countries in 18 days. These are horses that are wild horses with very little training. So at 7, 7 o'clock in the morning till about 8.30 every night, daily, and changing horses every 25 miles, nothing to eat, no time to sleep, sleeping with families that are sponsoring them and have little knowledge about what exactly is the Mongol Derby, these ladies embark on this 620 mile, 21 mile adventure ride. So my hat's off to you. I told them early, I said, my backside is sore just thinking about 621 miles on a horse. I sure as heck don't want to do that. But uh, whereas on February 12th, both Devin Horn and Dory Hertel will be recognized for their equestrian talent as they both prepare for the upcoming 2019 Mongol Derby, the city of Houston commends and congratulates both on their achievements and their exemplary role models for Houston's equestrian riding community and commends both and wishes Beth best withish for your continued success so, so therefore I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proudly proclaim February 12, 2019 as Devon Horn Day and Dory H. Hurdle Day in Houston, Texas. And congratulations to the both of you. Mayor Sylvester Turner, Chief of Police Art Acevedo and more participated in the groundbreaking of a new tactical area where HPD officers can train. This is all thanks to the Fertitta family. The city of Houston already has some of the most dedicated and disciplined officers in the country. In fact, I think we have the finest uh, in the country. And when the state of the art facility opens December 2019, it will better prepare officers in police tactics, including courses on threat response and infrastructure protection. We are breaking ground today on a facility that will be only the fourth technical training center of its kind in the nation. The Tillman Fatita Family Tactical Training Center will include a mock city layout with streets, buildings, schools, shops to provide a realistic view to prepare officers for real life scenarios. It's no secret that Houston uh, is about 600 police officers short. Some would say close to a thousand or more. We are bigger than the city of Chicago, 
more than twice the size. But they have more officers, while our department has more geographical area to cover. The very fact that HPD, our men and women, uh, do an outstanding job covering twice the size speaks for itself. The Tactical Training Center will better prepare our officers to prevent crime, enforce laws, and preserve the peace throughout our city. There are too many sponsors and board members here to name. Uh, the city of Houston as a whole is grateful for their philanthropy and their love for this city and their love for our men and women in blue. Thanks for watching this edition of H3 News Source. I'm your host, Mariana Oyanguren. Until next time, make it a great day. <music>